This is Lenovo Think Center M72Z, and today we'll enable the USB boot to reinstall Windows 10 on it. So, first of all, make sure you do have the correct bootable Windows installer, and then switch it off completely, switch it on, and keep pressing F1 until you see the BIOS screen. Alright, so this is the main screen of BIOS. We can see there are many options here and many sections here. On the main section, you can check all about the system details and then go to devices, turn on the legacy if you would like to install Windows in legacy environment. We're going to keep it enable and then we're going to go to security to find secure boot right there so if you go to the bottom you can see the secure boot is there which is disabled we don't have to make it enable so we're going to keep it disabled because if you want legacy it has to be disabled once this is done all the measures one almost done now we're going to go to startup and we'll try to find boot mode and csm all right so boot mode CSM we can keep it enabled because as I said uh, legacy the CSM has to be enabled then legacy those are the correct settings for legacy environment now we're going to press F10 to save it and then we'll restart the system and everything would be fine Now let's say you don't want legacy environment you want to install in UEFI format. Then what you have to do, whatever we did, we're going to do the opposite. So secure boot has to be enabled. Then boot mode has to be UEFI only. This is the major one and boot type also UEFI. And CSM has to be disabled. So let's do it together. Now I'm going to show you how to do the correct settings for UEFI. Go to devices from the we're gonna find USB setup and from USB setup make the legacy disabled USB support has to be enabled go back by ESC button then go to security from there we're going to go to secure boot and enable it that's the first thing as you can see this is disabled we're going to make this enable fine all right now go to startup and then we're going to go to boot mode first as you can see boot mode shows legacy change into EVFI and then CSM has to be disabled and now it's all fine we're going to save it by pressing F10 and then system would restart and we'll have the correct boot from the USB just remember while you restart press F12 to get into temporary boot option which is called startup devices and select your USB my one is Philips USB flash drive heat enter once you heat enter is going to take little bit of time and you can see the windows logo right there and then the setup page would appear and you can continue with the windows setup there are a few options you need to choose make sure when you select your drive to put the windows in there uh, make sure when you format it or before you format if you do have any important data you back it up that is most important otherwise you're going to lose the data so as you can see the setup is starting and it takes a little bit of time and accept the Thompson condition hit next and go for custom install as you can see I'm going to delete it I'm going to lose all the files because I don't have nothing important in there but if you do have anything as I said back it up first press OK I'm going to keep only one partition hit next here you go so it's all fine 
and he's going to go forward now he's going to copy all the files and folders everything and the features so i will fast forward the video just to get end of it and see everything is correct and successful so stay with me enjoy the rest of the videos and if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see in the next one thanks for watching bye for now